This is my 2001 Acura Integra GSR. It's got a couple things wrong with it. And that's the first thing that's wrong with it. Today, we're just gonna take the valve cover off, inspect the seals, check the camshafts, inspect the lobes, see if there's any significant damage on them. This car has, uh, it just hit 180,000 miles. And so far, the only things that I've done to it are changing the oil, changing the wheels, polishing the headlights, cleaning the interior, removing the tent, and that's pretty much it. The only modifications that have been done on it are short ram air intake, and everything else is stock. So for those of you that don't know about this car, it has a B18C1 motor with a 5-speed transmission. It makes 170 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. It redlines at 8100 RPM and the fuel cutoff is at 8300 RPMs. Also, the exhaust manifold is leaking. Uh, bolts are broken, the gas gets loose, it's just worn out. And I just take my 10 millimeter, that's all you need to take the valve cover off. First thing we do, take the spark plug wires out, inspect them, see if there's any oil. They're all dry, so that's good, nothing's getting in there. Now we just take off eight bolts that are holding the valve cover together. And actually, no, there's also one that holds holds the AC line and also ground wire, so 10. So looking at the valve cover, uh, no damage on the inside, really nice. Just black brown oil, good. Nothing foamy, nothing milky. That means there are no coolant getting in, so that's good. Now, there is a lot of slack on the um, timing belt, so that's gonna need to get replaced as well. Man, inspecting uh, the head further. You can see on that um, the third set of lobes that there's a lot of wear on the bottom side, and I check for both sides. Uh, the rest of them are smooth. So cylinder number two is definitely more worn. Now, I took it to a local shop that I get a lot of my um, basic work done, like if I don't have the tools, and they did a compression test on it, and it has zero compression on the second cylinder. So it could be anything from a spun bearing, a burnt valve, uh, cylinder walls being cracked, uh, literally anything to do with the bottom end. So that's really fun. Oh, and also head gasket. Now I don't think it's any of those um, items because if it or anything like a cracked cylinder wall or a really bad head gasket or a spun bearing, the engine would not be running. Like, it runs fine. Well, maybe not exactly. Um, it eats fuel like it's nothing. So, that's... It doesn't get driven a lot because of that. And also just because I don't want to make the engine worse than it already is and potentially blow it up before I can get it fully looked at. Now... The first and the third cylinder have this weird, like, hash, hashing on the side. Um, that's probably, honestly, just like a head defect from the factory. Maybe, maybe not, but I was a little curious about that. I don't have any tools to, um, or the time to look at it myself, so... I'm just going to have to find a shop to fully inspect it. If it were up to me, if I had the time and the money, I'd probably try and do everything myself because this is actually my second Integra. Uh, I learned how to do everything on my first Integra, which was really amazing, fun, but I had to sell that one just because I was ninth owner and it was so beat up. So yeah, uh, this is going to be fun. Thanks.